Finkelstein's test. The Finkelstein's test is used to diagnose the condition of De Quervain syndrome. It is nothing but a stenosing tenosynovitis of the first dorsal compartment of the breast. And in patients who have pain on the radial aspect of the breast, we suspect this condition called as De Quervain tenosynovitis. So the muscles of the first dorsal compartment of the breast allow for thumb motion. So there are two tendons that are involved are the abductor pollicis longus and the extensor pollicis brevis and another muscle which is extensor pollicis longus is located in the third compartment. Now let us look at the picture very carefully with the thumb inside the hand with the finger closed over the thumb the wrist is ulnarly deviated meaning the wrist is bent towards the little finger. Now the examiner applies force at the patient's thumb metacarpal placing the wrist into forced ulnar deviation. By doing so a positive test is indicated by a sharp local pain over the radial aspect of the wrist. With the De Quervain syndrome, there will be pain and swelling over the radial side of the breast, that is thumb side. It mainly occurs due to inflammation, thickening and stenosis of the synovial sheet. And inflammation of the synovial sheet, that is tunnel, that surrounds the two tendons that control the movement of the thumb, that is abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis. So whenever there is a repetitive strain injury or inflammatory disorders which causes inflammation that in turn causes swelling over the radial aspect of the breast and this narrows the space through which the abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis pass on their way to the hand. So activities that may cause De Quervain syndrome includes anything which involves repetitive prolonged abduction and extension of the thumb which is often seen in golfers and tennis players and individuals who text a lot and younger parents due to repeated strain of lifting a baby or maybe twisting, wringing out with towels or hammering and skiing and all these actions may be responsible for the development of a condition called as De Quervain tenosynovitis. So now this is what we need to know what exactly is about De Quervain tenosynovitis or Finkelstein test.